Let's take a look at the partial fraction decomposition of this uh, rational expression. This time I have an irreducible quadratic, but it's squared. So you can check with the quadratic formula that um, this uh, term here has no real roots. It has complex roots and it's squared. So the setup for this one will be ax plus b over x squared plus x plus one, and then cx plus d over x squared plus x plus one quantity squared. It kind of looks like the uh, same thing that we did for linear expressions. If this was a cube, then there would be three terms. Um, this is a fourth degree polynomial, and so there are one, two, three, four uh, unknown constants that we have to solve for. All right, so we're gonna clear out the denominator. So we have that x cubed minus four is equal to ax plus b times x squared plus x plus one plus cx plus d. In this case, there are no easy constants to plug in that would make uh, terms disappear. And so instead we will match coefficients. So I have x cubed minus four equals um, ax cubed plus ax squared plus ax, multiplying all these by ax, multiplying by b, we get bx squared plus bx plus b, then over here plus cx plus d. And so matching the coefficients, we see that a has to be equal to one. We see a plus b is going to be matched to zero x squared. A plus, C, a plus B plus C matches zero X. And B plus D will match the negative four. Okay, so we can just read these right off. So A is equal to one, so that this line means that B is equal to negative one. Uh, if A is one and B is negative one, then that means C is equal to zero. And finally, if b is equal to negative one, then to add up to negative four, d must be equal to negative three. And so therefore we get the decomposition. We have ax, one x minus b minus, or plus b minus one over x squared plus x plus one. Then c is zero and d is negative three. So minus three over x squared plus x plus one quantity squared. And so there is the decomposition of this rational expression.